Hi everyone, it's Ray here from Man City Fan TV. Hope you're all well today. A couple of people have asked me to uh, show uh, the shirts I wear if I'm wearing a Man City shirt. I'm not really here for a fashion parade, but I'll give you a quick uh, look at this beauty. It's the commemorative shirt for the 2011 FA Cup, which we won. Uh, if you remember, we beat Man United in the semi-final and Stoke in the final uh, for our first trophy in 30 odd years. Uh, it's fantastic. Just a little bit of housekeeping to start off with. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please, uh, it'd be great if you could subscribe down below. And uh, please check out Andy's fantastic uh, video from yesterday, talking to Yannick from a Chelsea fan channel uh, about the Community Shield and uh, Sari and uh, lots of stuff to do with the, up, uh, with the upcoming season. Today, I want to talk about a young kid called Aaron Murich, who's uh, a goalkeeper for Manchester City. Now, uh, he's gone on loan, as I said, I think a couple of months ago on this channel, that he'd probably go out on loan to NAC Breda, and that's actually what's happened. So I want to give you a little bit of background uh, about him and uh, some of the comments about him from uh, people at uh, NAC Breda. Defender Eric Palmer-Brown and a couple of midfielders, uh, Luke Illich and Paolo Fernandes, have already made the journey from Manchester to NAC Breda this summer, and now they're joined by Aaron Murich. In fact, I think Luca Illich did even, uh, did even stop in Manchester. I think we bought him last year from Red Star Belgrade and loaned him back to them. And uh, he's gone straight from Red Star Belgrade to um, NSC Brady this summer. Moving on to back to uh, Aaron Murich. Well, he's a 19-year-old kid. Um, he was taken by Man City on tour this year, but he didn't feature in any of the games. Last season, Murich was third choice keeper behind uh, Edison and Claudio Bravo, but he was still involved in first team training. And I think he was still playing with the uh, Academy Stroke EDS. Uh, this season, uh, Daniel Grimshaw will be promoted to third choice keeper. And I'm really excited to uh, catch up on his progress this season because I think he's going to be very, very good indeed. Yesterday, when uh, this uh, loan deal was announced, um, I saw uh, a few messages from, uh, from City fans on social media. And they were actually quite worried that he wouldn't play for NAC Breda this season and he'd just be sitting on the bench. Well, I can assure you that he will be playing for NEC Breda, playing first-team football. Breda lost their goalie this year. I think his name is Nigel Bertrams. He left in the summer, and uh, City would not be sending Aaron Murich out there uh, all the way to Holland if it wasn't for first-team football. He's outgrown the academy. He's just too good for them. Uh, he needs to be playing at a higher level to continue with his development. He can't uh, currently challenge Edison just yet. And uh, Edison signed that massive six-year contract last uh, last season, so you you get a good idea what the uh, or how the city hierarchy view Edison. And I don't think his position is really under serious challenge yet. I'd like it to be under a better challenge than Claudio Bravo, but we are where we are uh, right now. So I don't think there's any benefit, not really much benefit, for Murich to spend the season on the bench at City and only play a few cup games. On Breda's website, Murich said. It feels good to be able to play in Breda next season. I hope I can help the team and we can have a good season together. I can't wait to show people here what I can do. Breda's technical director said of Murich, Eru is a talented and physically strong keeper who, despite his young age, is ready for a challenge at the highest level. He connects directly with the selection today and has to compete with our other goalkeepers for a place. And straight away, just after signing, Aaron Murich went off to play a game for NEC Breda last night. Now, I think it's a great move for young Murich going over to NEC Breda in Holland. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for him to be tested at a much higher level uh, than, he was, uh, than he would have been if he'd stayed in the academy or playing a few cup games. But I think unless he has an absolutely blinding season or two, I can't see him coming back to City. He has to be a credible challenger to Edison. And unless you believe that in a year or two he'll be at that level to challenge Edison, I really can't see any other um, outcome that he'd be sold on for a handsome profit. Very similar to Angus Gunn. Now, Angus Gunn was a very good keeper for, for City. Uh, we sent him out on loan last season to Norwich. He was brilliant at Norwich. And we sold him on to Southampton um, for, I think it was 13 or 14 million pounds. So we made a massive profit on him. And sadly, I can see the same for Aaron Murich. I think he'll play a couple of good seasons at uh, NEC Breda, one or two, and uh, showcase his talent, develop further, and he'll be plucked off by somebody uh, in Europe or back in the Premier League or the Championship, and we'll sell him for 10 or 12, 15 million pounds. I think I've said before, I'm not a great fan of uh, this way of uh, doing business, 
but it is a business, it is an investment for our owners and uh, City do need money and financial fair play, although it's uh, you know been it's not been kicked into touch, it's, but it's been kicked uh, far, far away. But we do need to have deals like this and selling kids on. You know, we sold Mafio earlier on uh, this season for, I think, 10 million euros. We sold Angelina for 5 million euros. Uh, Gun as well. So just those three players are going to get as best part of 30 million, 25 or 30 million pounds, and a couple of others here and there. And all that money will come in handy when... I'm sure we go for at some point for one of the really big stars in the world, either one of the up and coming stars or a, uh, an established star. And we're going to need somewhere in the region of 100, 150, even 200 million pounds if we want to even consider buying someone like Mbappe. So all these little deals, they all add up uh, into the grand scheme of things. And uh, sadly, as I said, I think Murich will be gone from City in a couple of years' time. If you like the video, please click like and I hope you're enjoying all the content we're putting out, one or two videos every single day, city-related content. I'm really excited, looking forward to the new season when we'll keep bashing out more videos, more fan uh, opinions, opinions from other uh, fans from other clubs, uh, lots of city uh, fan opinions, and uh, look forward to interviewing many of you uh, during the season. See you around, Blues.